Hey guys, Technodrome 406 here, and today I'm here to review Transformers The Last Night. Um, this movie is directed by Michael Bay, and it's his last Transformers movie. The franchise will, will still be going, but not without Mike not with Michael Bay. There's gonna be hired by another director, I don't know who, but um, I don't know. Um, I went with this movie with zero expectations be because the score on Rotten Tomatoes was a 15% and the reviews were actually tearing this movie apart and I was like, okay, might be good. Um, may I might be the guy who liked it. No, it was terrible. Now, before we go on to this review, let me explain myself. I don't hate Transformers. I don't hate Michael Bay. I like Transformers 1. Um, Transformers 2 is a guilty pleasure of mine. Transformers 3 is my favorite out of, the, out, of the, out of that Transformers movie. And Transformers Age of Extinction, I didn't like it. I don't hate it, but it felt kind of like a forced sequel because I thought the third one was a really good conclusion. I was like, there's no way there's going to be a sequel. The third one, I have mixed feelings. It had good action and that song of Imagine Dragons was really good. Um, going into this one, I really wanted to like it. I really wanted to like it. Um, but no, I, I didn't like it. Um, but what's about the story? Um, basically, the story is Transformers are still hated, even though they saved the world in Age of Extinction. Um, and Kate Yeager, portrayed by Mark Wahlberg, he's one of my favorite actors. I love him in Ted. And I loved him in a lot of movies. Um, and he's also a fugitive and he allies with this young girl in order to prevent the end of the world again like in all the Transformers movies but then Optimus Prime becomes evil and yeah that's and that the exact same thing uh, you've seen in the Transformers movie happens now this is not like this movie is an abomination that doesn't have any redeeming qualities it does have redeeming qualities let's go into them um, the redeeming qualities were simple. It had good cinematography, like that. That way, the Dark Knight movies were shot like in the like the IMAX screen, then the wide screen. I thought it was really good. Also, the special effects. When it comes to Michael Bay and Transformers, he knows how to make special effects, and I thought they were really good. Well, well done. Also, the acting was actually okay. It was solid. The acting it wasn't horrible. It wasn't phoned in. It was okay. It was okay acting. I like the acting. Also, the action sequences were really good. Um, we're we're going to talk about it and the things that I didn't like. Um, also, Optimus Prime, he's a badass. For the, la for the 30 minutes he appears. But I enjoyed him. What is the bad? Well, this movie, the editing... The editing is kind of like Catwoman level of editing. It's like this. We must prevent this. Um, don't get me wrong. Um, some of the editings, I use jump cuts a lot, but when they're necessary, not when I'm talking a lot, I use jump cuts. Also, you have the same old sh thing we have been into the five movies. You're all government conspiracy that Decepticons are after the same thing are after this object and then we have our stereotypical things our annoying humor that is not really funny there was only like one chocolate I was like huh then we have um probably the annoying characters and really there's not even that much action most of the action happens in between the third act like like the cool action sequences happen like when probably in the last 40 minutes of the movie and I was like Oh, this is really tired. And I was like really on most of the movie. I was really bored. On, and I rarely get bored in a Transformers movie. Um, and I really... Trans, at least Age of Extension had more action than this. Um, so what do I think about this movie? This is the worst in the Transformers franchise in my opinion. I thought Age of Extension was the worst. Um, I really wanted this movie to be better than Age of Extension. I really want it, but nope, this movie is horrible. Um, to be honest, I would rather watch The Mummy or The Great Wall because at least they knew what they were. At least The Great Wall had good action. At least, um... At least the mummy had interesting story, and yeah, um, I would rather even go say that I would rather watch the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. They were enjoyable at least, and hell, I would even say I would rather watch um, 
Transformers Age of Extinction. Now, is it a bad movie? Yes, this movie is a bad movie. But is it the worst movie of the year? Oh, no, 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 no. That title is still held by Fifty Shades Darker. There is no movie that is going to take down that credit because at least because this movie is bad but 50 shades darker is on my top five worst i've ever seen in my life so how much would i give this movie i'm gonna give transformers the last night one star terrible my recommendation for this movie is that you do not see this movie go watch one two and three go even watch four um, don't watch this movie, um, probably go watch the action sequences once they're on YouTube, you'll be happier with yourself, but I wouldn't pay for this movie, I don't want to see it again, I'll, I won't buy it on Blu-ray, I don't give a shit. So, yeah, sorry if I've been really harsh on this movie, like I said, I really wanted to like this movie, I'm not like those critics that go with Michael Bay movies expecting like the devil's work, I go with a movie like expecting mindless action, but if you go like expecting mindless action, You'll also be disappointed, my friend. So yeah, one out of five stars. Don't go see this movie. Um, go watch, like I said, the previous four movies. Um, so yes. Anyways, what do you thought of the, about the movie? Did you like it? You thought it was fun, exciting, and all that? Or you're like me, who is like, no, I couldn't stand this movie. Let me know down in the comments. Also, if you like this video, you can also like and subscribe to this channel. I would really like if this video gets to 10 likes. Um, also, you can like me on Facebook. The, my Facebook page is on the description. Also, you can subscribe to my gaming channel. I'm, I just started a gaming channel. Also, you can follow me on Twitter. And if you like my work, you can support me on Patreon. That would help me a lot because I'm kind of getting a green screen to make more effects. So, yeah. Also, please subscribe to the winners of this week if you want to get a shout out. That is my review for Transformers The Last Night. Sorry if you if I disappointed you with this review. Um, so yeah, that is my review. I'm Technodrome406, just a regular guy in his regular room with a regular YouTube channel. Have a good day, Technodrome out.